we're going to go, briefly go through the instructions on how to get the head off the table. If you are thinking about sending your machine in, please do give the service department a call and schedule an appointment for your machine to be serviced. At that time, we'll be able to go this, over the specifics for each machine and make sure that we have all the components at the factory from your setup to do a complete service. We'll go through taking the head off the table. The first step to getting the motorized fabric advance off your table is to loosen the mounting knob that's directly underneath the motor. The next step then is to locate the Allen screw that is in the table roller half of your coupler for your motorized fabric advance. Loosen that with an Allen wrench. Then once it's loosened, you can carefully pull the entire assembly off the end of your roller, disengaging your motorized feed. Now at the opposite end of the table, we can loosen the mounting bolts that hold the opposite end of the roller onto your table legs. We can see that your leveler roller and your quilt take-up roller do have to come off the table in order to get the machine off as they do go through the throat of the machine. These bolts should be just hand tightened. At the end, it does look like you could use a large Allen wrench to tighten it, but we really don't need those to be that tight. It does help when you're doing this process to have someone at the other end of the table helping you get the rail out from between your carriage. Now we're back down to the end with the motorized feed and the end of the roller with the pin will just need to come out of the heim joint. Then your roller is free and you can set it on the floor. You will want to disconnect your stitch regulator cable coming out of the back end of the machine. This is for the 2007 prior machines. 2008s will have a different type of connection, but the same general idea. Just want to make sure that all of our connections between our head and our carriage have been unplugged. Then we'll need to get our carriage bumper off the back of the carriage for these older style four-part carriages. Once all your wire connections between your carriage and your machine head have been disconnected, with an assistant, you can get some help rolling the machine head right off the back of the carriage and get it ready to put in your head box.